recording. Hello! <laughs> Seriously! Whoa, come on, man. <laughs> we... Oh, it's actually ringing. Oh, the phone is ringing. Oh. Is Welcome one? back to another episode of Cuisine TV where we quiz the cuisine! But this time, it's another special episode where. Trying to do something a little bit different for you, for you um, our subscribers, our viewers, our listeners, everyone on the world wide web. Today, Martyr, would you like to enlighten everyone? Yes. <laughs> I needed a chance to redeem myself after the pathetic performance I had last time. That's right. You guys saw Naeem wipe the floor with me, but I swore that I will beat him in the next test. So today we're going to be doing a speed slash quantity test because we're going to be trying to eat 50 fushkas slash pani puri slash golgopal. <laughs> Is that what they call it? That will do. But you know what we're trying to do here. We're doing a speed test. 50. We have to finish 50. The first one to complete all 50 wins. This is obviously a very popular snack. I'm gonna call it the fushka because that's what it's called in Bangladesh. Um, it's a very popular street food snack and it's basically made of a crisp outer layer, a shell, and that's stuffed with chickpeas, which are cooked in a tamarind base, mm. garnished with some boiled egg, mm. some chilies, mm. some coriander, mm. some tomatoes if you're lucky, and then more tamarind sauce. It's a brilliant, brilliant dish. Yeah. But we're gonna go for 50. 50. 50. Bring on the pushka. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. 50 of the finest. I said the finest because they've been cooked at home. Fresh. 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 All handmade. Smells delicious. So, the rules of the challenge. Number one. First one to 50 wins. You must complete every single fushka on the plate. Number two, no throwing up. If you throw up, it's over for you. Number three, no water. No water? No water. I think we should probably rethink that rule. No water. Because my strategy is all about speed. And when it's speed, it gets blocked in the chest. <laughs> so I need something to push it down. Okay, we'll have, uh, we'll have the ambulance on standby, <laughs> but no water. There are your three rules. Okay. All right, there are your three rules to be crowned Fushka eating champion. Now, bring on the garnish. Garnish, baby. Condiments, baby. You can't enjoy a good Fushka slash Pani Puri without all of these beautiful bits on the side. We got some chopped cucumber, we got some chopped tomatoes, we've got boiled egg, and some lemon with the zest and then we've also got chopped up white onions and coriander and a very very special spice mix so this is a roasted chili cumin and coriander and this you just kind of sprinkle over the the fushka the pani puri and it just gives you a beautifully beautifully spicy but roasted flavor and that's not all in this bowl we have some more we've got chopped up red onions chopped up green chili and chopped up fried chili, which is delicious. And in these small bowls you see here is that crucial tamarind sauce. And the concept is you pour a little bit of this on one of those with a bit of garnish and you scoff away. Oh yeah. So, I think it's time. I think it's time. I'm so nervous all of a sudden. I think it's time. You're not getting butterflies in your stomach. No, because I ain't got space for any butterflies right now. True, true. True. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Sleeves up. Hands on. Hands on table. Hands on table. All right. Are right, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Eat. <laughs> I 
아 맞아 Warm up. Potato. And tofu. In there. Warm up. Shake, man. <laughs> Drinking this like it's normal water. It's not. It's so tangy. You're not meant to have this water. And spicy. What the yeah. hell? But anything to push it down. Anything to push it down. Oh, halfway. Oh man. I need to go to the toilet. I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> You think that's sort of an actual war? <laughs> this is disgusting. Okay, changing the strategy up. Changing the strategy up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I need, actually. <laughs> yes, I'm clear now. Whose idea was it? 
Which idiot had this idea? You did. Which idiot went 50? You did. Which idiot said no water? You did. I hate you. I'm just supposed to fry it up. I'm just supposed to. <coughs> Genuinely, for not only is it the end of the competition, but it might be the end of my life as well. That's the way I felt. But when you get past that wall, I just kept coming in, you know. But hey, I said I was gonna wipe the floor with you last time. At least we both did it. Yeah. I didn't expect that actually. Yeah. We should have added the caveat really at the beginning do not try this at home. Yeah, That's I mean you can, do. you can, it just makes it interesting. It just makes it interesting for everyone. Tough, but you know, I came through as the champion this time. Yeah, yeah, there could only be one winner and uh, I did this warn time you. round. I yeah, did warn you. This time round, Mahathir, he took the he took the gold medal, he did beat me by, the, by I think... A good minute and a half. Yeah, I think so, that. yeah, something like that. You. I wiped the floor with you. Mm, yeah. Uh, basically, the way that you were using your fushka to wipe the tamarind sauce on the plate. That's how I wiped the floor with you. I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how that makes sense. But anyway, yes, okay. Come winners winners can on. gloat, so it's fine. We're I have gonna, bragging rights for yeah. at, least, <laughs> at least a week. At least a week, yeah. So we'll, we'll give him that. But, you know, overall, a very tough challenge. How did it make you feel, though, by the way? Like, you know, when... when at what point did you hit the wall? You know what? I I was saying before that my my tactic was to try and start off slow and you know maybe catch you up after a while because i saw on the left of me i saw you kind of scoffing scoffing them and i thought look he's yeah i thought you're gonna you're gonna give up sooner not give up but you're gonna slow down considerably sooner or later what i didn't anticipate is that i would also slow down considerably i mean at the end at one stage i feel like you were almost 10 ahead and by the end of it there was two left for me and I think yeah. you had just finished and I just put the last few in my mouth. So I think yeah. I caught up sometime at the end, yeah. but I think it's too little too late. You definitely caught up. You definitely caught up because I was monitoring as well. At the beginning, you, you just looked like you were there to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. You looked like you were just enjoying the snack. Enjoying it. Yeah. Which rattled me a little bit. <laughs> I was like, what's this guy doing? But I was just, I went for the, the old tried scoff. and tested. Scoff. Tried and tested scoff tactic, which, you know, 
always works because you know there's this interesting fact there it takes about half an hour for your stomach to tell your brain that it's full so there's about a lag time of half an hour so my tactic was scoff 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 before, before i hit the half an hour period and my brain gets the signal from the belly that i need to stop that's why i was trying to go as fast as possible um but obviously that comes with its caveats i.e blocking of the chest yeah. <laughs> blocking of the airways <laughs> blocking of the enos exactly <laughs> I felt like, I felt like at points, genuinely, I felt like I couldn't breathe. Yeah. And then when I didn't have the water, you just made things a lot worse. So I had no choice but to drink the tamarind sauce, oh. which is n not meant to be drunk. No, no, no. It's not meant to be drunk. No, not like that. Not like that. We have done a challenge, something that we've never done before. Um, and we intend to do some more. We do want to do we, some more. We do intend to do some more. Hopefully not as painful as, as this one, but we shall see. We, we shall see. see. I think you guys definitely comment below and let us know what you want us to do. And do you know what? Maybe next week we can make it interesting and the loser has to do some sort of forfeit. Maybe. If you guys want to see that, comment below and let us know what the forfeit should be. That's right. That's right. Well, without further ado, you know where we are with the Cuisine Boys. Uh, make sure you like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got our Instagram as well. Tell your friends, your families, your cats, your dogs, your neighbours, anyone really that can subscribe. We don't mind. Um, thank you again for watching. Until next time, we out. Bye.